Hi guys, thank you so much for purchasing the extended reading to this beautiful root chakra healing that we are doing today. I really appreciate that you've joined, that you've taken the time for yourself, for your self-care to support your root chakra. I've brought out a little piece of obsidian. This is great for our root chakra, lovely black shiny obsidian. This is an amazing crystal for supporting our root. There are obviously beautiful red crystals that you can use for your root, but obsidian is very, very clearly in support of this as well. So if you can get yourself some obsidian or even just, you know, take a picture of this either with your memory or with a camera and just allow this beautiful energy to support you. OK, so we're going to take some additional energies on this beautiful reading that we've already done. So let's start with the animal spirits, shall we? We'll start with some animal spirit messages and then we'll move on and take some journey Akashic field messages and see where we're going. So for our root chakra, for the, for the signs that need support in their root, what animal spirit messages are here on this journey? How can these animal spirits help us? And we got the turtle and the nightingale. The turtle and the nightingale. The turtle representing water, nightingale representing air. This could be talking about, you know, getting that healing in water. Water is so healing, especially for our root chakra, because it's about the body. It's about supporting the whole body and water is important in, in so many respects because we are made of water. We need to replenish our water all the time. And, and it's, it's something we should be doing every single day. It is so important that we look after our self-care. And we did have, you know, it's interesting, the nightingale coming through makes me think of the throat chakra. There is obviously blue here and it's the air sign. You know, this bird is beautiful bird is singing, opening their throat chakra. And we had a lot of blue energy with these blue wings. I mentioned earlier in the previous reading that there were these blue wings showing up. Root chakra energy being compounded by throat chakra energy. So often when we're not really talking about what we want in the world, not being honest and open and authentic with what we really want, what we really feel, that can really st stop us from achieving what we want because we're not actually living in our truth. So truth and the root, I feel, are, are intrinsically connected And the nightingale speaks of free will, free speech, feeling free, not feeling stuck. You know, the turtle is so free to swim and travel wherever they want to go. I love the greens and the oranges here. Very earthly. Connecting us in, in our water. Everything is about water. It's, you know, it's the flow. Everything needs to flow. And when our, any of our chakras are blocked, there is no flow. We've got one more. The dragon. The dragon. This is ether energy. This is the energy of ether. The spiral. The energy that connects everything. The dragon is like... If you imagine the tree of life of creatures, the dragon is at the base. The, the, the dragon is the foundation of everything. She is the, the holy serpent of our origins. The kundalini snake within us is a permeation, um, a permutation, if you like, of this dragon energy and what I'm really feeling here is 
you know, the nightingale and the turtle are but other representations of the dragon because the dragon or a dinosaur, if you like, that dragons and dinosaurs, very similar. Many people have um, associated dinosaurs as being winged chickens. Actually, they are bird-like. They're very, very bird-like in their makeup, especially like the pterodactyls, which were flying dinosaurs. And a serpent is a water creature. You know, a dragon is a water creature. So I'm really feeling like these really do go together. The winged chicken the swimming serpent, the swing, swimming creature with webbed feet or fins or just a snake-like serpent energy that moves in the flow, in the water. So we can definitely use a lot of water healing here. So let's pop those there and let's grab some Akashic Field Tarot. Can you give us some additional energies, messages of healing and guidance and love, Spirit? Thank you. From the Akashic Tarot. Once our root chakra has had the healing that it needs, where is our journey taking us? What is it opening us up to? Allowing us to fly free, allowing us to speak freely. Allowing us to feel freely. A lot of us don't allow our, our feelings and our real desires to come to the surface. Whatever reason, maybe we, we're worried about what other people would say. Maybe we're worried about what people will think or how they'll react when we share our true desires. But the only person that you are... Um, the, the only person that you're letting down or, or um, triggering in that scenario is yourself because you're allowing other people's energies or other people's emotions or other people's circumstances to be more important than your own. That really comes down, that's, that's really what it comes down to. If we're not speaking our truth, we are allowing something else to take precedence, to have that power over us. We got the Eight of Forces, the Eight of Air, the Lightning Bolt. The Lightning Bolt. The Eight of Forces. We've got this beautiful, beautiful tree being struck by lightning but right down here at the root it's you know the lightning hasn't just hit the top of the tree it's gone straight down into the base the root and then there's this reflection in the water so again it's this connection with water connection with our root this is how we bring this healing through i think we should read this one because it's got a very interesting energy that's not necessarily as obvious and it's the number eight of air eight of um eight of air represents anxiety as well sense of anxiety i mean this is this is quite a catastrophic um event that's happening here you know the worries that come down through our mental realm that gets stuck down here in the base, in the root. Things that people have said to us, beliefs that people have pushed onto us that keep us stuck and keep us out of our own light, you know? So the Eight of Forces is... I'm just going to put the light on actually let's have a bit more light in here we're just talking about getting into our light let's have some more light so it is number 182 so we're clarifying here our beautiful root chakra reading looks 
that 189 sorry I've gone a bit too far there we go the lightning bolt okay so a lightning bolt illuminates a stormy night sky striking a tree down to its core puddles of rain pool upon the ground this card shows that it's a time of splitting apart a time of loss, disappointment, or even a metaphorical death. You may be feeling wounded, grieved, or gravely disappointed. The loss could be a career opportunity, romantic relationship, partnership, creative project, or a friendship. At first glance, the event may seem sudden or unexpected, but in the light that flashes, we see the deep puddles of a storm that has been going on for some time. You've probably been aware of the threat or difficulty at some level, even if you were unwilling to acknowledge it before. Now it's time to accept the, the situation and not fight what's so. There is a benefit coming but it often takes an ending to bring forth a new beginning and a storm to cleanse the field. Imagine a lightning bolt striking nearby, leaving some destruction in its wake. Now close your eyes and with a deep breath, feel the energy of lightning stir within you. It's almost as if the finger of God is yours to employ. How do you want to direct this energy in your life? I mean, it's always worth it's always worth reminding ourselves that whenever there's a storm, whenever there's lightning, whenever it's dark, the sun will come out again. The sun will shine through the rain because that's the natural order of things. So if you're going through a time of anxiety, if you're going through a time of being stuck, potentially with some addictions or overindulging, and that can even be overindulging in the energies of other people, like I was saying, letting other people's energies or feelings or beliefs dominate your energy, your life, your space, the conversation, we shouldn't be giving over too much power to others because all we're doing is building them up, but it depletes our energy. Our energy is not endless. Um, and that's why we need to do this healing. So again, a lot of energy of water healing coming through with this. So what could you do to support your root with more water healing in this time? Let's see where this journey is taking us with the Sacred Traveller. Sacred Traveller. What new energy and extra support can you bring to the collective? The collective that needs support in their root chakra in their muladhara, base of the spine, the groin, the bum, the hips, the lower back. All of these areas can feel pain. We need them to feel strong and vibrant and flexible so that we can go off on a bright new adventure and the Sacred Traveller is going to help us on our way. Thank you, Sacred Traveller. Thank you, Spirits. Thank you, Gaia. Always. We are so grateful. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Yes, yes, yes. This is what happens when we heal our root. This is what happens when we allow the flow to come back. We transform those energies. We burn away those lower devil energies. And we did have a lot of devil energy here. Burning away this devil energy, allowing this transformation, allowing through the water, allowing space to come into our mental realm. 
and we've you know we've got some more spirit guide animal with the uh, spirit animal messages with the phoenix coming through very root colors here moving up into our sacral there is a lot of energy of sacral emotional energy here you know things that aren't necessarily clear or cloudy or foggy are often um, clues that we aren't standing in our truth we're not being clear and open with our emotions with ourselves first and foremost this isn't just about how we show up to the world it's how we how we show up for ourselves capricorn energy definitely definitely feeling a lot of capricorn energy i mean capricorn as well representing the devil is our lower chakras they are the devil is often considered the seventh chakra or the first chakra, you know, the lowest one, taking us right underground, you know, right into the, you know, the soil of Gaia. So the earth signs are all heavily represented here, as are the air signs, as are the air signs. And I think it's that idea of, you know, once we've done the lower healing, you know, the, the lower chakra healing, it allows the flow up through the heart and allows these higher fiery mental energies to also flow. If one thing is stuck, then it's just going to cause a blockage somewhere else in the ladder. That's really amazing. Transformation. And what we had at the bottom of the deck was a view from above. A view from above which is where we're trying to get to isn't it it's about being able to have the big picture seeing the big picture of our whole holistic system and realizing that it all works in harmony these are each of our chakras is a cog in the machine and when one isn't turning properly it will affect the whole system so try and have a bit of a bird's eye view with this nightingale energy, with this, you know, transformation clearly represented here with the butterfly as well. So we've got more Scorpio energy, more water energy coming through. And then with this bird's eye view, a view from above, what is the big picture of your life? What are those big things that are getting in the way? or even the little things that are getting in the way of the big thing moving forward. And that will be true for you um, in, in a variety of different ways, however it resonates. I'm feeling a lot of air energy with this balloon here and then very earthly sacral energy with this one here. So like I was saying, this connection between our third eye and our sacral chakra is is so important that it's allowed to flow that's where our true genius lies is that connection that that body mind heart brain harmony is through this inner channel and if the root isn't working properly the root is stuck heavy then actually this link isn't isn't being served properly so get the big picture, understand where you need to transform, what healing you can bring and, and transformation is what is the is the outcome, which is amazing. Let's have a couple of Sasha's oracles on this to see if there's any other 5D support, 5D energies, 5D messages to help our collective with their root chakra healing. Thank you so much, Spirit. Masquerade. Masquerade. Hmm. Wearing a mask. We've got red for the root. 
we've got black for the for the obsidian you know red and black crystals are what we need for our root masquerade wearing a mask hiding and concealing our true nature our true feelings our true desires our desires are important they're they're ours we shouldn't indulge in them too much because that's just unhealthy because it's just imbalance anything that isn't um, anything that's overdoing it or underdoing it, it just isn't in balance. So everything's about bringing it back to the equilibrium. It's not about removing everything because we need to be careful when we take anything out of our lifestyle, our diet, our way of being that has been there for a long time. Something else needs to move into its place. So if you suddenly remove all the sugar from your diet, you will actually probably overindulge in other things because your body isn't used to this sudden change. So be careful when you are trying to shift out of a low vibrational energy that you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because actually one addiction or one overindulgence is now a pattern in your body that needs to be gently revoked, gently untangled not done in a very swift, hasty manner. Now, this masquerade, it, it talks to me so much of this energy of not being, not standing in our truth, not standing in our power, allowing others, allowing the um, perceptions of others to influence how we show up in the world. Wearing and putting a mask on our own desires, on our own emotions, because we don't, we fear what other people will say or what they'll think or how we'll be perceived. And I said something then that really resonated and it's gone, but. Yeah. It's just about not giving too much power to other things, you know. Don't give too much power to these devil energies. Don't give too much power to Don't give too much power to needing to have all of your chakras open, cleared, buzzing straight away like work steadily gradually you know consistently on supporting your root first and foremost it is the first chakra it is the one that allows everything else to be built upon i think it's really beautiful that we've had the red and the black crystal colors coming out you know lovely confirmation from spirit this is earth energy. It is connecting us to Gaia. It is connecting us to our earth star chakra as well. I wanted to say something about my essential oil blends as well. So I've made an essential oil blend for each of the chakras. And um, you can actually get these oils from me if you're interested. I will put the details into the description box as well. But I will share with you the secret recipe of my Root Chakra Essential Oil Blend um, so that you can actually um, get these oils for yourself and, um, and appreciate their, their bounty and their healing in your life. So the essential oil blend I created for the Root is Siberian fir, black pepper, lavender, geranium and Roman chamomile. Now these together form a very powerful blend for the root, but all of these all of these oils will actually have a great impact for you. So think about that, think about other ways that you can support your healing for your root chakra. Think about these, which ways do you feel stuck at the moment, collective? Which ways do you feel stuck? If you're listening to this reading, what has come out for you so far from the reading before or this one that really kind of, you know, strikes a, 
strikes a bell for you. Wow. With Masquerade, we've now got Secrets and Lies have come out. More red and black. You can't write this, guys. Red and black. And we've got Karma is a five-letter word. We've got black and green. More earth energy. I'm feeling devil energy all over this with the Masquerade, Secrets and Lies. Karma is a 5D a 5D word. Karma is a five letter word. Karma is a 3D energy as much as it's a 5D energy, by the way. Uh, this karmic, this karmic energy is something that we all have to process and manage and move through in the 3D um, as much as the 5D. So, you know, these secrets and lies where this karma is coming from could well be what is getting in the way of you speaking your truth. Maybe you're the one that's perhaps engaging in the secrets and lies and you're actually blocking yourself. You're actually creating a blockage in yourself, in your energy flow. Perhaps you are on the receiving end of someone that is doing this to you. Perhaps someone that is wearing a mask. So we have to, you know... Like I said earlier, you know, these we are at the mercy of other energies coming down and feeding off our negative vibration if we're in a negative low vibration. So if we're in perhaps the more um, devilish energies of our addictions, we can open ourselves up to other energies that feed off that, feed off that um, when we're in a low vibrational energy, perhaps we might be feeling fear or sadness, or anger, or resentment, or frustration, and when we are in that mode, when we're in that frequency, there are other energies that like to feed off that, that energy, especially fear. Fear is the one I think that most people are suffering from, even if they don't realise they are being triggered into some fear or some sense of lack that they're trying to avoid in their life. Fear is the one that is probably the most tasty energy for these negative entities to feed off of. The, the media feeds off our fear. Uh, the government feeds off our fear. All governments, um, all senses of uh, a lot of organised religions feed off the sense of fear. What's going to happen if you do this? Or what's going to happen if you don't do that? This is all This is all designed to keep us stuck in the earthly realm and surround ourselves with material goods and, and stuff and things and substances that aren't actually allowing us to live fully in our light because our light fully shines when we're open so let's get the secrets and lies out into the open don't be fearful of calling something out that you don't think is right don't be fearful of pulling someone's mask off if you can see through it say it if you see it say it you know we've all got karma to resolve in this life and we all have a duty to, we have a duty to ourselves to look after our karma. And our karma is entangled with so many other people in our life. Our family, our friends, our colleagues at work, our colleagues in our hobbies and our interests, our mission. And we do ourselves an injustice by not calling out other people's um, energy vampire um, type behaviours when actually they're, they're impacting us. So we do ourselves the justice by protecting our own energy. And if that means stepping away from something that feels karmic or an energy that feels quite devilish or someone that's just not being real and authentic in our lives 
why are we why are we continuing to engage with that energy and ask yourself that question really seriously and it might surprise you it might surprise you so i think that they have been some very powerful energies for healing our root chakra i hope that you have found some some insights here that have helped you on your journey if you have any questions and you want to ask more about root chakra healing, you wanted to have a private reading, or you want to talk about essential oils or anything like that, you can either leave me a message in the comments and I will absolutely come back to you, or you can drop me an email at bloomhealing22 at gmail.com and you can put tarot reading or essential oils or the hero's journey into the subject line. I am writing the Hero's Journey course. It will be happening soon. Get yourself on the mailing list by emailing me and I'll make sure that you get access to an amazing discount when the course goes, when we announce the, the course going live. And I want you to be, you know, top of the list for that. So you have been amazing. Thank you so much for joining in this extended reading. My name is Sasha. I am your green goddess and I send you all my love and light. Blessings.